Uh, hey gang, it's Hexy. Got a little story to tell you here. Um, last week I was sitting at work. Well, was it a week before? Yeah, I had. Anyhow, it was a few days back. And I get this message on Facebook Messenger. It wasn't one of my normal contacts. But it was from Patrick Gebhardt from over in Germany with VUCA Simulations. Asking me if I would like to review one or more of their games. And I immediately fired back at him saying, I would be happy to review whatever you want to send me. And they sure got a box out. I think the next day in the mail, they sent me some games. Now, I'm not going to unbox all of these. Um, might peel the, uh, or open up one of the boxes, take a look at what's inside. But let me show you what they sent me. They sent me Donner Schlock. All right, the Escape from Stalingrad. Uh, you you got to love the boxes that they put these games in. Um, not shrink wrap. I don't know if they were if they are ever shrink wrapped or not, but I like the texture feel on that box. And I've seen other people with the games and the quality of the counters and the maps just seems to me like they're awesome. So Donner Slog, the escape from Stalingrad. They sent me Aachen, 40, 1944, crossing the line. Okay. Now this is, uh, I believe this, this is from the system that Kev and Mo were playing online. All right, so, and I'm going to assume that this is probably, what's the, is it Hurtkin's Forest that has Aachen in it? One of those Goss games that has Aachen in it, I think. All right, so we got that one crossing the line. And they sent me the game I believe Mo and them are playing right now, or we're playing, or not Mo, but the uh, uh, Rough Swordsman and Blue Tweezers. They sent me Operation Theseus, Gazala 1942. All right, and along with that, they sent me the updated player aids, which are on like a hard cardboard. That's really nice. So, all right. So the quality is phenomenal. That's that's already a given. So let's peel the cardboard off one of these things and see what, what we got. Do we want to do that one here? No, let's do the Stalingrad one. I'm interested. To, I'm interested to see that. So let's do Stalingrad. Let's peel off Donner Slock here, all right? that out of the way all right, so looks like we got a rule book here right on top all right donner slog escape from stalingrad patrick gebhardt and pepito spazaguti or bazaguti yeah i don't know how to say that one all right that's an, a definitely an italian name all right not these rule books are not huge and an index in the back and we always like the indexes and this has cards in it so i guess that means it's a card driven game there we go three stacks of them so we got three stacks of cards in here. Don't know how this is going to play out. I've never played one of their games yet, so I'm going to. All right, a couple of big old dice. All right, I like those little the, the little tiny things that MM or uh, SPI used to make. All right, a fold out map. I'm not going to fold that all the way out, but that it's a heavy card back. It's got a slightly textured matted finish, and it looks really nice too. I I can't wait to get that set up. Pre-rounded counters, for all of you that don't like to do that. Nice, big, clean, easy-to-read counters, all right? Uh, I'm sure Axis and Soviet. And sure some of the sub-Axis nations are on here, too. A few information. Not a ton. That's good. It means a lot less to have to worry about on the board. Good, thick stock. I mean, these are this is chipboard quality player aid cards and setup cards. So it looks like we got one for the Axis. One for the Soviet Union, the Russians. And then another player's aid. Oh, I gotta dump these. Gotta dump these. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, player's aid card. Let's see, looks like we got terrain charts, combat results table. So I got two of those. And on the back, the extended sequence of play. All right, extended sequence of play. So there's one for each player on there. Wow, that's, uh, man, this stuff's good. And heavy to this. Well, one thing is I won't need to put it underneath any shrink wrap or uh, shrink wrap under any uh, plexiglass. Right? Well, Hexy hasn't done an unboxing in a while. So where's my rule book? Let's see. Here's the rule. Let's look at the back of the box. I'm gonna look at the back of the box. See what that uh, has to tell us right there. So from December 12 to 23 December in 1943, all right. What's the name? Vinta Gavita was in progress. This was the code name for a relief attack by Harris Group Don, which I would believe would probably be von Manstein, right? The Axis formations, uh, army in Stalingrad, the Axis formations entered with 50,000 men and 250 tanks, while the strength of the Soviet formations 
was reported to be about three times of that. All right, so I'm seeing Kalash right there. And we know that Kalash was the point where when the Russians decided to counterattack, that they performed their own little pincer around Stalingrad, and then they linked up at Kalash, thus cutting off Paulus and the 6th Army, okay? So let's see, complexity of this game. Let's see, game meter's got a 3 complexity. It's got a 5 for solitaire suitability. And of course, you know, Hexy's playing. I'm going to figure out a way to make that a 9, one way or another. Uh, unit scales are battalion regiments brigades. One turn is two to three days. The map scales four kilometers per hex. Okay, so that's actually, you know, I'm playing EFS. I'm playing Army Group North. That's five kilometers, I think, per hex. So this is even tighter. All right, five to eight hours, two players. Um, game contents, rule booklet, a mounted map, 234 counters, two player aid cards, two setup displays, 126 cards, and two six-sided dice. Uh, historical period, 1942. It looks like it stretches into 43. So... This is a the good heavy box. All the components inside are well done. It's the it's the slick surface rule book uh, in full color. Counters are the counters are are pre rounded and looks like you're just going to push them out and play, which is very awesome. Whether or not I'll I'll probably bag of the bat put these in baggies because the the game boards are it's one big mounted game board here. All right, I'm going to fold that out now, but you'll eventually see that. So there you go. There's uh three games they have sent me. And I'm excited about it because when I saw them, I knew they were good-looking games. And I would love to give them a whirl. So that's what we're going to do. Hex is going to break out the rule books on these. I need to find out if I can get a PDF copy of the rule book so that I can uh, do some highlighting and stuff. while I'm, But it, like I say, and it doesn't look like it's much. Now, I know Mo and Kev were playing, I think, the combat rules. Not the rules, but the process to get combat done was a little heavy. So we'll take a look into that one, too. All right, so thanks from Patrick and the, and the gang over there at VUCA Simulations. You'll see reviews on these. It'll take me a little time. I'll probably put them up out here on this table and play them here. Uh, I can't take down my big campaign of Army Group North. But we're going to get to looking at these and get after playing these things. Well, learning them and getting them played. So that is Donner Schlock Escape from Stalingrad. Like I say, Aachen, Crossing the Line, 1944, and the Operation Theseus game about Gazala. All right, guys, let me get this up here so you can see what VUCA sent me to review. Talk to you soon.